Hey, Paul, how's it going? Good, eh? Good to see you, man. Thanks for the ride, dude. I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Anytime. Now, before we embark, I just would like you to pull down the sun visor on your side, and you'll notice that I posted a list of passenger protocol. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Come on, Paul. Let's go. I don't want to be late. Hey, I'm, I'm serious. This car does not move until you as a guest passenger, guest, familiarize yourself with protocol. Paul, what the fuck are you even talking about? Can we just drive? Listen to me. Listen. I provided this vital material, first of all, as a courtesy, and to serve as an effective tool to ensure a safe, non-threatening journey. Now, I suggest that we read the protocol aloud together. Are you ready? Paul. Yeah? If you don't start driving right now, Uh I'm going to stab you in the fucking neck with your own gear shift. Let's ride. Whistling a rest for a little bit. What, what do you mean? I, I thought you loved my theme song. I, Paul, I do love the theme song. That's not. That's really not the issue. Right. The issue here is that you're you've been whistling it relentlessly for two hours. For, well, I, I, excuse me, but, but, but since we don't have a radio, I just thought you'd like some music, you know, to entertain us. I guess I was mistaken. Gravely mistaken, Paul. Who the fuck doesn't have a car radio anyway? Oh, sorry, Mr. Tomorrow. Not all of us could have just any luxury at, at, at a whim, you know? Uh, all right. I lost the radio in my divorce, okay? I mean, it, it was either give up the radio or a JVC VHS player with four count them. Four heads. All right? Now, personally, I feel like I made out great in the deal. I mean, she still asks about it to this day. Okay, now, Lee. Now, you are definitely sure you want to do this. Yeah, affirmative, dude. Let's go for it. Okay. All right. Now, before this event commences, I just want to get the rules straight. All right? The first man to roll down his window loses. Okay. I go first. Wait, why do you go first? (laughs) That's why. Oh, for, for the love of God, Paul. What did you eat, dude? It's like... Garbage truck air freshener. <laughs> oh. all, all I ate was some of your delicious smoked jerky. Well, uh, of course, washed down with a double shot of Starbucks espresso. Do you surrender? No. You don't surrender. No. Why would I surrender, Paul? I don't know. I that was pretty brutal when I just did. No. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess it's your turn now. Release the fury that is you, Mr. Tomorrow. Go ahead. Oh, oh it's already been released, Paul. Really? Yeah, I went stealth with it. It's SPD. Mm-hmm. Silent. You know about Silent but Deadly, Paul? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I heard Just yeah, wait for it. Just hang on. Just wait for it. Uh-huh. Just wait. Right. Just hang on. Just wait for it. It'll come to you. It's my essence. The, Here it comes. Dude, you, man, you got Nothing. Nothing. I mean, your butt bombs are weak, sir. Okay? I mean, I... <laughs> at first, I thought this was going to be a challenge. Mm-hmm. But you My eyes! Oh, my God! My eyes! The burning! Paul, the don't, burning. don't like on the wheel. The burning! 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 Can 
I ask you a question? Uh, sure. I mean, as long as it doesn't have anything to do with us being lesbian lovers that own a, you know, Cajun burrito truck. Oh. Uh. Okay. Well, all right. Well, let me ask you something else then. Do you think that I should get the Batman logo shaved into my back hair? <laughs> Absolutely. That, that's a great idea, Paul. I love it. All right, cool. Thanks. It, it, because, I, you know, like, I respect your opinion in this matter. You know, I mean, after all, an individual such as yourself who has desecrated their body with all kinds of fucked up tattoos uh, has an honest point of view, you know? So I appreciate it. Wow. Uh, thanks? Oh, no problem. You're, you're welcome. You know... There's been something else on my mind for a while that I'd like to ask you about. Is it cool? Yeah, I guess. Maybe? Sure, I guess, yeah. All right, well, I'll give it a shot. All right. Has Hope ever expressed to you uh, that she finds me to be an extremely sexy man? Uh, where are we going with this, Paul? Oh, no, nowhere. Nowhere. I, I, I mean, I was just wondering... You know, did she ever mention, you know, like in passing, like not not like a long, drawn-out conversation, but, but, you know, like in passing, that uh, she believes that I'm the type of guy that could really give it to a woman good? Uh, you're making me feel very uncomfortable with this conversation, Paul. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I mean, the least thing I want to do is make you feel uncomfortable. It, Anyway, and when it's all said and done, I look, I was just curious. Does Hope find me hot? Stop the car, Paul. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't want to choke you out while you're driving, Paul. Choke me? What the, what the fuck are you talking about? Stop the fucking car right now and let me out. But, hey, we're, we're in the middle of the turnpike. I don't care. Let me the fuck out now. Okay. All right. Here I go. I'm pulling over. All right. Fine. Hey. Hey. hey wait. Wait a minute. What? Wait. Wait. What? Could, could you possibly give me the gas money that you promised? Come on. I guess I'll have to take that as a maybe.